Welcome to the Historical Commission meeting. And the echo chamber. <laughs> it's November 24th, and uh, we are in the uh, municipal complex under COVID restrictions, still operating under the, uh, the governor's orders. So we are masked, we are protected, um, we are distanced. We're feeling pretty good, and we're all here. So that's, that's important. So let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. What? I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God with and liberty and justice, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Was done well. Okay, thank you. Um, we have a public hearing, and we're going to open with the public hearing, and after that, then we'll go into some of uh, some of our usual business. So the public hearing is for a demolition permit for 134 Center Road. The owner of the property now <laughs> is Nichols College. For most of you in town, you will know it as the Stockley property on Dudley Hill. Uh, the transfer was June, maybe, yeah. Bob? Yeah, okay. I believe so, yes. Good. Bob Levine is representing Nichols. Um, and what we're going to do is, is uh, open the public hearing. We'll have discussion, information sharing. Then we'll close the public hearing. The intent is to establish whether the property has significance and um, we're going to show the criteria for significance uh, it's already appearing how nice I love this I got to get a baton I could wave things and make it go um, so let's do that um, officially opening the public hearing Fun. got it all right with us, our guest, Bob Levine. Bob, what's your title? I'm the Vice President for Operations. Okay. I didn't want to create a title for you, you know, but that, that's good. Um, we have received the request to demo the barn at um, 134. For the people at home, I should mention, if if they don't know what that structure is, if you come up Tanyard Road just before you crest, it's on your left. But you're too busy worried about the traffic to look at anything on your left. <laughs> so, but that's where it is. It was the, the barn on the Stockley property. Um, it's been there since the 1800s. And um, it's all that's left now that the house had burned. And it's, uh, we'll get into a discussion on its, on its condition for sure. So the demolition delay policy requires us to look at a number of items. Put it back on my screen, Maestro, thank you. Um, to get to the question of significance. A significant structure would be one that has architectural importance um, that would be if it, it were designed uh, by an important architect or it would be if it's one of its one of the only kind that exists in the area or is unusual uh, for the area another criteria would be geographic importance um, where is it located? How, how prominent is it? And certainly uh, dead center Dudley Hill is pretty important. National Register designation, and this building is on the National Register. And historic importance, um, by virtue of the fact that a lot of important Dudley history happened in, its around, in and around it, uh, yes, it's got some historic uh, importance to it. 
so those are the four criteria we're going to, going to be looking at. Um, in the meantime, let me let me jump right over to Bob and say, Bob, as the new owners, what's your plans? For for the property, we don't have we don't have any plans for the property. Um, we as as you, we submitted that permit, we do want to take that barn down. Um, uh, if you're familiar with that property, um, it's a on the front side, on the center road side, it's two stories. But on the back side, if you were behind it by Tanya, there's a lower level. And a fair amount of that lower level has collapsed in. Um, along the, I guess, would be the south side, um, also has structural damage on it. And on the back side, the east side, you can actually see the wall where it's actually bulging out. I've been in it. Um, I haven't been that deep into it, I'll be quite <laughs> honest with you, because I, I choose not to. Mm -hmm. uh, because I do think it, I have concerns about it structurally. Um, but our plan right now is, is just to remove that structure, um, and we have no plans on the, on the table for that property at all. Was there any consideration to rehab it? Given its condition, no. All right. Have it, you it, had somebody through it, um, a restoration group or a building structural person or somebody? No, what, what uh, I manage all the facilities for for the college. Uh, you know, I'm not an engineer, but um, taking a hard look at that, if you if you, if you really inspect that property, um, it's beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, that if anything was going to take place like that for that building, it probably should have happened five, six, seven, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it, the roof has been. If you if you look at the south side of the roof, that that roof was open to the weather for a long period of time. You mean that tarp didn't solve it? The tarp did not solve the problem, <laughs> no. And that's the whole side that, that really were the structure, structural damage is. Yeah. yeah. I should add that there, that's not the only structure on the property. There's a um, three-holer, as we'd call it, um, restroom, external restroom to what was at one point um, a guest house and a hotel. Uh, that's also there, but that's not part of the uh, demolition request. Uh, it is a structure that we're going to discuss, though, and because it is part of a historic structure, and it is literally up right up against the barn. So um, they are kind of working up against each other there. Um, all right, do we have questions you want to, anybody start? You're all mute tonight, just because Ooh. you're wearing these, come on. <laughs> Nothing, oh my. All right, um, so let's, before we, we close this part of it, let's, let's talk a little bit about the, the outhouse. Um, it, um, my, my understanding is the owner wished that to be given, correct me if my, any of my words are wrong, um, to the tavern. Did not wish it to be um, part of the, I guess, uh, the sale itself, although it was on the property, so it's part of the sale. It is. But he, <coughs> his wish was that the tavern would take ownership of that. So we need to not only discuss the barn and um, it's, you know, what, what happens to that, but also how, uh, how we protect this 1800s um, outhouse. So, I'm willing to hear any anybody's comments on this. Wait a minute. I'm falling apart here. <coughs> I tell you, it's only temporary, but who knows? Um, all right, questions on on this? Well, is the outhouse capable of being moved without completely falling in on itself? Um, how I mean, would we th go? That's about a that's a real good question. How would it go about being moved? It it actually sits on the edge of a wall. So it, th that, on, on, so on one corner of it, the entire wall's collapsed. So you you know you, you can see it. It's very, it's 
precarious sit situation there. And the, the structure has rotted out around the bottom. Um, Ed knows me, I, I'd be more than willing with my demo contractor to see if we can possibly strap it and move it, but I can't guarantee anything. I just don't know the minute we lift it if it just doesn't disintegrate, especially when you get on the back side of it and see how bad it is. From, from, the, from the center road side, it doesn't look so bad until you get around. Yeah, that back corner's, um, the bottom is rotted out. It would have to be uh, girdled, however, by wood straps or whatever means. And then um, I don't think it's a problem of uh, pulling it away from anything because I don't think it's, it's other than just sitting there precariously. And the hope would be we could slide it over mm -hmm. out of the way of, of uh, demolition and then uh, work to get it moved over to the to the tavern property the tavern would have to prepare a, uh, a foundation for it also and we'd have to come up you know with some kind of um, new structure under it to hold hold the whole thing yeah I really think that the, the that's a probably going to be the only way you can move it is to actually construct something to stabilize the building because like he says if you pick that up without stabilizing the structure it's just gonna because it's, right. it just lacks the inherent strength because it's more than likely balloon construction and it's just gonna want to walk yeah I don't know what the well it's an outhouse I'm sure they yeah, didn't it's... devote much thought oh it's an elegant outhouse <laughs> <laughs> well I'm sure they didn't devote much thought to when they built it yeah. because they thought it was always going to stay and they built it on site right on that spot the only re really to move it is to stabilize the structure so it, so it can be lifted. Yeah. Do you have any idea how old it is? How what? The outhouse. I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. How old? No, I do not know. Because it wouldn't be balloon frame before 1850. We're going to have to get you a microphone under that mask. I like that. It would not have been a balloon frame before 1850. <laughs> that was Massachusetts. No <laughs> So it's, okay, it's probably timber framed if it's earlier. Okay. Which means it has braces, which means it should be able to be stabilized. Yeah. If it is a balloon frame, get a priest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that that but that's an issue. We'll look it over. We'll figure it out. Um, Ramco Construction is in charge of the demolition. Mm -hmm. That's um, correct. They moved a few things. Yeah and unmoved a few things so um, I have confidence that they they can look at this and and come up with a solution for us can I so ask another question pardon do you have how making the assumption that the barn is going to come down hopefully not of its own volition how do you plan to take it down do you plan to just like drive a bulldozer through it or do you plan to Probably implode it and pull it away from Tanyard. Well, it has to go away from Tanyard. Yeah. But are you planning on dismantling it as no. best you can, or are you planning on? No, it'll demolishing? be it'll be it'll be demolished. Yeah. We we it, it it's just unsafe. Yeah. To try to take it apart, um, it, it just is. The but condition of this structure right now obviates any the significant issues we have going as far as I'm concerned. It needs to come down. Once they lose stability, those barns, they, just, they get dangerous. They do. I, I know from experience, you know. Okay. Once this, you know, you, the first thing you lose is the roof. And then once the sills go, it's just. Good and to time. take it apart properly, you'd have to be driving all the pegs out. Yeah, and numbering and cataloging. Right, but even if you wanted just to save them and not really re-erect it, you would still have to drive those pegs out. And that's not, I wouldn't want to be in there and do that. I'll be honest with you. This thing is a slam dunk as far as significance, any way you look at it, but it's just in such terrible shape that it, the significance has no meaning at this point. You know, it, it's just got to get out of there. I think if we can, um, I know there may be a, a few beams in there as they're imploding it and um, Ramco may be able to 
pick a couple out. I don't know what he's going to have up there for machinery. But if we can get a couple of them, we're looking to, to do some um, rebeaming in the tavern barn. Michael's owned it, it up for dormitories. They slice through the and then rock. Those exposed halfway. Um, if we old enough stuff, we've been couple of years on and off. Um, there may be come out of there that that are usable, and we could talk, talk to Ram it and say. Yeah, we. And again, like you know, price. So I don't know if he may be salvaging anything. Yeah. I mean, so like I, I can't on his behalf of that because we have a contract. Levitch family has. I, I absolutely agree fun. on that. <laughs> I'd be more than glad. I just, yeah. I just as a. Th but if the primary sells, maybe we could get sole replacements. Pieces of pieces, so that the, the potential. I don't know if we could. The building is down in. It's going to take to stabilize. Yeah, so yeah, we did all right. Discussion in a motion. Significance. In a second. All right. Bob, we hate to say it, but uh, we want to make it. And um, months. Time period? Yeah. Should be moved out of. Good. Allows us to get the best, I think. Because the road. Yeah, the that's side. the big. Down. Be my goal is to get it. Yeah. Um, and that struck mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the road. Any other questions, Bob? Thank you for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, so I, I will email you. Permit. Well, Department tomorrow. I'll email I'm not going to need any necessary. Not we at least have, you know. 
the privies are separate not to deal with that yeah one. just to yeah does that make sense thank, thank you, you very much, much. I have some good um, I can't I don't but yesterday I started to has um, and Structurally um, unstable, or looking at least, um, has volunteered his time and his equipment and his expertise at no cost to the town to take the wall down and rebuild it. So while I was doing that happy dance, I also found out that he's going to bring his other smaller equipment in and grind out the stumps of the trees that were still annoying us. So I am hopeful this can all be um, agreed to and go forward. And by the spring, we're going to have a revitalized village cemetery because we also are going to put in um, some signage in there. We have money to do some plantings. Um, I'm hoping we can look at the, the old fencing that was around it, which is slab granite, and then had iron bars between it, which is, was a standard look, and get rid of the chain link fence which is annoying. Yep. Were they iron bars or wooden? Well, I don't know. I think they were iron. They weren't? I don't. You think it was wood and then they were just bolted? If, if what's going through the fence posts are bolts, they were wooden. If, if it's a bolt, they the, were wooden. If what's going through the fence posts are hooks, then All they right. were chains. All right, well. But either way. Have a look. I will. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> we want to get back link out of there and house. Okay. Uh, More familiar with the recent graphs of that cemetery. Earlier, we have really far that grave there at the cell. It was that, oh, yeah, it was it. It just started on okay, and it might be in a barber. Well. to using just replicate what would or that's a good deal less on the upside no good. It was, but that's the good news. I mean, it, yesterday was a good news. So don't want to name the picture we lobby to get that. <laughs> Once it's a hazard it, it's how, how you
and every volunteer businessman minutes volunteer uh, right until we know the details slice of it. didn't want to you know how it is like she didn't set it sidewalk to it's been a problem forever roads just too Guardrails, there's nothing. Uh, so they were all as much more. It's been bulging. So there are a lot all came out at once. As soon as we can. You know, when residents show up phenomenal. I'll I'll let you know. It'll just be a rumor in town. All towns have rumors. The other thing I want to mention: pulled out a deed of gift. Um. But, um Webster. I should. He he came. I uh, am getting rid of. And Jeff looked at them. Glad you're from Stevens Lynn. Um, three nineteen thirty to ninety of the mill. Um, two books, two books on um, weaving. Six. What are you the box full of things that was going to go? in recycle or the dump or or whatever so jeff thought they had value um got in touch with me and i said please please we took them and they are now in the uh, secure room of the history room at the uh, library and i sent him uh, a copy of the deed of gift and uh, we are so pleased to get these things it's, it's always nice when people out there see something, intercede, make sure that the thing gets protected if it if it has value, and these and these did. So, um, so it's a, in the library for protection and not for anybody's viewing. Right now, it's in the uh, inner sanctum. You can't get at it. Well, I <laughs> even I'm having trouble. Getting, <laughs> although the library, I should say is now opened as of yesterday. Mm, I found that out. So it's been open for two days. Um, and we're all happy, happy to see that happen. It's, you can go in, but you're not al allowed to linger. But you can go in and get a book and, or two and hustle out. And they're pleased to, to be back in business. Um, so that's good. Good news there. See, I tell you, it's been surprising to me good news all around um, the district signage I 
I haven't concluded anything with Graphics Unlimited yet. Uh, they know it's coming. Uh, the money's in place. The prototypes are pretty much uh, looking looking good, but um, we're in no rush. It's a spring project, maybe. I no sense in rushing to try and get anything in the ground in this time period, and uh, so that'll be more to come. But that's it's it's still an ongoing. Uh, project and I, I talked to Ruth uh, or emailed Ruth this week and said we're a go we just don't know uh, yet when it's going to be but certainly we aren't going to have a celebration for um, months if not almost a year <coughs> my hope is at least by next fall we could do a, an official something but if we can get to the point where we get a get agreement on, on where the signs are placed and have them made up and the highway department put them in. They'll go in even if we haven't gotten to the official celebration yet, just so people can start seeing. All right. Um, future events for the front for the town. <laughs> We'd like to see these come down. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Um, anybody got anything to offer in? Oh, quiet group. All right. Same are you way. all are you all going to enjoy Turkey Day with? Uh, you're all hibernating. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. Um, all right. Well, everybody have as good. Yes. Motion to adjourn. Oh, all right. Have as good a Thanksgiving as you can and a Christmas, because we are not meeting until at least, as, well, the, the earliest would be January, and then only if we have a demo permit. And in the meantime, if we need to meet, um, we could always uh, do emails, keep each other tuned, and if we get a, a public hearing, then uh, the next one could be on Zoom. Another delight in your life. Ooh. Okay, so. And just one technical question. Um, I believe that our December meeting has already been canceled. That, would, that had been on the 8th. Yeah, we moment. had canceled it. I believe so. we already canceled it. Right. Yeah, and any other meetings are on abeyance right now so until, gonna, until we know we need to have could one. Could I put that in the minutes for the town yes. clerk? Yeah, and, and right. Okay. Let the town clerk know. That's, uh, that's why I'm asking. Part of the town policy right now, all the meetings are kind of in a hiatus point till, till we know better. If we ever know better. All right, so we do have a uh, motion to adjourn and a second. 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 All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Let's see if they'll let you out of the. Uh,